Hey everyone, Jay here. Sean here. And today we've got a Vivarium movie review for you. So Vivarium is a new release on VOD starring Imogen Poots and Jesse Eisenberg. Your favorite. <sighs> yeah, he and I have had words, I'll admit it. Um, you know, he's a little pisser. <laughs> that's who he is in the world, and that's fine. This was not a role that required him to be anything else, so that's all right. But what a weird movie. It was a very weird movie. And it stayed weird all the way through, mm -hmm. and it didn't really give you any closure or <laughs> explanation or wrap anything up at all. Yeah. Well, Sean, I think you were supposed to be smart enough to figure it all out. Well, I think I might have figured it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it was not subtle. <laughs> okay, so first of all, it is a horror movie. It says that right on, like, they are the ones telling you this is a horror movie. But it's the kind of scared you get when you think about whether you'll able, ever be able to afford to retire. Like, that's the kind of existential fear, not so much like going to a haunted house fear, things jumping out at you fear. It's just dread. <laughs> existential dread. Of life. Yes. So uh, basically, they play a young couple, Gemma and Tom, who are looking for their first home together. And um, Gemma's English politeness gets them into a bit of a jam. It does. Because they are looking at model homes and really probably not that interested, just killing time, but a real estate agent who seems a little sad and a little pushy talks them into going to see a house uh, like in a, in a development, a new development, a model home. And so they follow in their car as he leads them out to the suburbs. And they very politely tour the house and not at all the, you know, very, very basic features that you would see in any house. And it's not for them, but before they can tell him that, he's disappeared. Gone. Where did he go? Don't know. I mean, he's disappeared. Um, but it get worse. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, as they try to leave, they cannot. What happens to them, Sean? They get trapped in a maze. <laughs> All the houses this look the summer, same. I mean, they do. It is an actual cookie cutter existence out there. Every house looks the same. But no matter how long they drive, no matter how many turns they take, they always wind up back at that same model house, number nine. They run out of gas driving around this neighborhood trying yes. to find a way out. And they can never leave. He climbs up on the roof and it looks like for miles and miles in every direction are the same identical roofs. Yep. With the same yard, <laughs> the same trees. It's eerie. I mean, it was eerie when they drove up. We all knew something was off. She was too polite. Women are too polite. Don't get into scuffles That's because true. you didn't want to say no. Say no. Listen to your gut. That's the <sighs> takeaway from this movie. Well, not just. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, they just have to like live in this house because they can't ever leave. There's no cell reception. There's <laughs> no way out. And uh, provisions magically appear in a box before their house. They don't know how. They never see anyone. There's nobody around, nobody, but something is leaving them food. And then one day it leaves them a baby, mm -hmm. a baby. Baby in a box. Oh my gosh. And the box says, raise him and you will be released. Um, excuse me? Raise him and you will be released? Now it is both easier than it sounds and much, much worse than it sounds because 90 days later, this kid is already like seven. <laughs> I mean, obviously not seven years, but he's, he's that big. big. He could talk, he can walk. <laughs> he's a big guy now. Uh, so it's going quite quickly, but this is not a human child. And it's not just the growth spurt that tells, him, tells us this. He is creepily observing them. 
and imitating them, learning their behaviors. He, I mean, he also, uh, I guess maybe because he's never seen a human child, he doesn't sound like a human child. <laughs> I mean, honestly, whatever like top 10 list of creepy movie kids you've been keeping in your head, make room for this guy. He's up there. He's up there. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, and he's just a bottomless pit of needs and he communicates that in the most shrill and horrific screams. way possible. Just screams, screams, screams until he gets what he wants. Yeah. And so Tom and Jenna, Gemma are kind of going crazy because they're just trapped in this existence. Uh, they're losing touch with reality, as you would. And they're forced to raise this completely creepy child who Tom is much more skeeved out by than Gemma. Gemma has some sort of latent protective instinct towards him. Well, she it's, treats him as a kid. Yeah, not doesn't. her kid. I don't think no. she loves him, but she wants to provide like the basics for him. Yeah. And Tom is like, no, this is not okay. He gets obsessed and starts digging a hole. So they're drifting apart, even though they are each other's touchstones and all of this. So, and it, I'll just say it gets worse and worse from there. Yeah, it does. The unraveling mentally and of their environment just, it's rough going for them. And for us. And for us, for sure. I mean, had Tom taken his shovel and literally hit you over the head, it would not be any less subtle than this uh, gross critique of the suburban life and parenthood. It is literally a prison. It is literally a trap, not just for them, but for us. <laughs> this is a, a sentence that we're all, <laughs> we're all observing together. And it's a life sentence for them, as it turns out. So, I mean, it's a life sentence for parents. <laughs> You're going to be a parent until you die and mm. children suck the life out of you. So, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I not hope it's to... not too late for you. Uh, no. Do you already have kids? Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's not super rewarding. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's a rough, rough thing. And as Sean said, like it's, a horror sci-fi hybrid, but we don't really get much of either in the standard sense. Like obviously no. whatever goes on with them is not normal, is not our universe, but what is it? We don't know. Good luck finding out if you dare to take this movie on. Let us know what you think. But it's a, it's kind of a crazy watch. Uh, well, it is crazy but it's also not satisfyingly crazy i would mm -hmm. say it's monotonous yes. as is fitting for this when mm -hmm. we're talking about the monotony of suburban life but as a movie it's not really entertaining okay so i didn't get a lot out of it i think as you said they're not subtle about what <laughs> this is an allegory for mm -hmm. uh, because it's basically right in front of you mm -hmm. Um, but it's not really, if you're looking for a horror, this is probably not the type of horror that you're looking for. True. And if you're looking for a sci-fi, well, this is definitely not the sci-fi that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a creepy, weird movie. <laughs> if you want to see Jesse Eisenberg be a creep, well, here Very you well, are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not even the creepiest he's one. He's not even the creepiest one. Because that kid one. is it's the creepiest true. one. The kid is, oh boy. I mean, if you like a movie that's a puzzle and a bit opaque, then give this one a try. You know, it, it's meant for those people who want to be able to chew on something. Yeah, that's And true. want to develop their theories about it. That's it really, true. I think you have to be prepared to bring a lot to this movie yourself, because uh, it's not offering all the answers. And generally, I think that's an okay thing to do when you're a movie, but... Yeah, this one was lacking. So it is not our favorite on offering. You can find better, please do. And I hope everyone is uh, getting through their suburban hell right now. We're all locked in suburbia in our homes. <laughs> Which maybe is part of like my disdain for this movie. It's a little too close to home right now. There are we no creepy leave. kids around here, but we're still trapped in our 
in our silver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only we know it's Amazon leaving the packages. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope everyone's taking care. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.